One week after a woman almost got run over by a car at a downtown intersection, the city of Fort Wayne is making some changes. Last week, News Channel 15's Kai Torque showed you the crash at Broadway and Stoplet Streets. After taking the problem to the city's traffic engineer, Kai Tor got results. He's been down at the intersection all day watching the changes. We told you last week that drivers are misusing the Broadway parking lane as a turn lane. So today the city painted these white road stripes to discourage people from driving in that lane. Officials are hoping this brings an end to the scary, sometimes life-threatening crashes. These white lines being painted by this work crew. This is something that we can do on our end. It's simple with paint. Laura Hancock has been waiting years to see this. It's just so scary because you see the potential of the danger. You just see it, that somebody's going to get hurt. And people have been hurt. Trying to stop cars from crashing into her store at the corner of Broadway and Stofflet. But when you see over and over again the near misses, the close calls, the the actual accidents, you hear them from inside and come running. She's still having flashbacks to last week when her employee was outside on the corner selling a couch and missed death by mere seconds. I had just gotten up just to see what was going on down here and I got about this far before the collision happened and the car started coming up. How the intersection should work is cars going south on Broadway can stop on Stofflet Street so that people coming north can make a safe left turn onto Stofflet. But what happens is someone will illegally whip down these parking spots and crash into the person making the left turn. Hancock has seen dozens of crashes here over the years. Countless drivers commit the parking lane violation all day long. Drivers on Broadway are so determined to get to Taylor Street that they often get impatient with backed up traffic. Some will move into the parking lane from hundreds of feet away. And at that point, we can only hope they safely make it through the Stofflet Street intersection without crashing to the Taylor Street turn lane. So we teamed up with Hancock and asked the city to improve the problematic intersection. Right, and we want to make everything safer. And, and hopefully this, this is a small little detail that we can do, but hopefully I know. people will pay attention. I know. Traffic engineer Kyle Winling sent a team to paint diagonal road stripes on the parking lane to stop drivers from driving in it. Hancock is skeptical if this particular solution will work, but is happy to see something finally being done. I am so glad that something is going to happen now, and this, this is um, a start. I hope that this will work. We'll watch them, and, and I'll see what happens. The city will be monitoring the intersection to see if the road stripes improve the problem. Reporting on Broadway, Kai Torque, News Channel 15.